founder of Nano Girl Labs, Michelle Dickinson, is here now. Lovely to see you again, Michelle. Now tell us, what does a fly do when it lands on your food? So flies are amazing. Now flies have no teeth, but they land on your food because they want to eat. So what they do is they vomit up the enzymes and maybe a bit of food that they've eaten before, vomit onto your food, and then because it's acidic, it digests the food on your surface of your plate, and then they suck it up through a proboscis, which is basically a straw. So they vomit on your food and then suck it up. It's quite cool. I don't know if I want to know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask you anyway, Michelle, where has a fly been before it's been on your food? Yeah, so flies are hairy, they've got hairy feet, and they actually taste with their feet through chemoreceptors. So they go to things that are really stinky. Poo, dog poo, cat poo, they love. They love rotting flesh. They like to be in the garbage. So they're gonna roll around and walk all over that. And then when they land on your food, they're gonna deposit whatever was last on their feet um, onto your food. So yeah, a bit of dog poo and maybe a dead oh, carcass. Wow. This is so disgusting. Um, uh, but I will soldier on because it is very interesting. So then, if a fly lands on your food for just a split second, and this happens all the time, and I'll eat it, I'll admit it, if a, land, a fly lands for a split second, I'm going to eat it. So how bad is it if it just lands for a split second before you wish it away? Yeah, Hilary, I know that you probably subscribe to the three-second rule, too. <laughs> Look, one little fly landing on your food for a little bit is probably okay. It's going to have bacteria on there, but you're exposed to bacteria all the time, and luckily your body is designed to fight that bacteria for you. Um, it's only if it's been out for a while and you have quite a lot of flies sort of wandering around on your food that you might not want to eat it. One fly, shoo it away. Just eat it as quick as you can before the fly gets to your food. Do they lay eggs or anything nasty like that? So flies love to lay eggs in things that are rotting and moist. So unless you're leaving your food out to rot, they probably won't lay eggs. But if you've got maggots on anything, it'll be in your trash. It'll be in your dog poo in your garden. Um, so yeah, they do love to lay eggs, but on soft, squishy things. So don't leave your food out long enough for it to rot. And then the flies hopefully won't lay the eggs. But you'll know if it's maggoty that there are some little baby flies in there. What are the risks, Michelle? And what's your advice to all of us? Look, luckily in New Zealand, we know that flies can carry diseases including cholera and typhoid and even tuberculosis. In New Zealand, we're pretty lucky. So you might get gastro or salmonella if you have a lot of flies. Um, but actually, flies are fascinating. They're great for our decomposition system. If you don't want them on your food on your picnic, just keep your food covered. If you want something to do with your kids, get a bug catcher, catch a fly, and look at its hairy legs because they are actually really fascinating. Delicious. Thanks so much, Michelle. Great to talk to you. Thanks. Yeah, flies are no good, but I've turned it into a sport at my house actually with the fly swat. Really? I mean, even over the weekend, I reckon I did 25, 30 flies over the weekend. And you just got the old fashioned one or the electrified one? No, the old fashioned one. The issue is, though, as I mentioned in the intro, the ones that go around and around the light fitting. They don't land, so you can't hit them with the fly swat. Oh, right. So you've got to raid those, mm. which is not really what I want to do, or, you know, some kind of fly spray. It grosses me out when they stop. So they're flying around and you're chasing them with a fly spray and then they stop and you can't see where they've gone. Yeah. That really, really annoys me. Yeah, I imagine you were up on your ceiling getting rid of the fly dirt. Oh, you're one well, of those people. Well, you never want to do that because, of course, you use your matte paint on your ceiling. Don't be going... If you've got matte paint on your ceiling, take it from me. Do not go and try and wipe off the, the, the dirt. You're going to have to repaint the thing sometime. Really? Truly, you can't be wiping your, your matte surfaces. It'll stain. You'll always see the white marks. I know news you can use.